This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to be working on a quick, long document project. In a previous lesson, I had mentioned the way that I format long text all in one running text document. It's a huge time saver. To follow along, I want you to open a word processing file. You'll find the file in a folder titled 1007, a short review of long documents. I want you to open this file in a word processing application and print it out. That way you're going to know how all of your text should be formatted. After you print it out, we'll be ready to begin. If you'd like to follow along, go under the file menu to New, Document. Using the default preset, I want you to then uncheck facing pages and check primary text frame so we have a text frame for our text to be placed into. And just click OK. Now we need our styles. Our paragraph and character styles exist in a pre existing document. So go to the paragraph styles panel and under the options menu go to Load All Text Styles. Now we need to locate the document with the styles. It's in the same folder as your word processing text. So it's the last document in that folder. It's called Paragraph Styles for 1007. And I'm just going to click Open. There is a conflict with one of the incoming styles. Basic Paragraph has a conflict with a style named Basic Paragraph. It really doesn't matter, they're both the same. So why don't we just click OK to load all of the styles. Now, I can see that our styles are not in alphabetical order. I'm just going to click on my paragraph style, you don't have to do this, and I'm going to drag the panel out, because I don't want to lose the bottom of my options menu in this recording. So I'm going to go under the options menu to sort by name. And now they're alphabetical. Now I'm ready to bring the text into my document. I'm going to go to File, Place. And I'm going to find that same file that I printed out, a short review of long documents in folder 1007. Before I hit Open, I'm going to hold down my Shift key. This is going to allow me to get into the import options for this file. I want to make sure that I remove styles and formatting from text and table. That way, I'll avoid any strange formatting from Word, but also I'll avoid any RGB colors. And I'm going to click OK. And it loaded the text into a loaded brush. And if I go over the top of my primary text frame, I can just click and it's going to add all of the text. The first thing I would do whenever I'm formatting copy is go to the View Options pop-up and go to Hidden Characters so I can better see what's going on. Now I happen to know that most of this text is actually body text. So what I'm going to do is double click with my selection tool anywhere in the text to get an insert point and switch to my type tool. Then on a Mac I'm going to hit Command A. On a PC, Control A to select all of my text. I'm going to apply my body text style. I actually have over half of my formatting done already. Let me move in a little bit with my zoom tool. I'm going to click and drag with my zoom tool across my page to make the text bigger on my screen. And I go back to my type tool and I'm going to start formatting. I'm going to look at my printed sheet that I printed out from the word processing file, and I know that the first line is the headline. So I'm just going to click my headline style. The next paragraph contains a drop cap, so I know that that's body text with drop cap. I'm going to go down to the paragraph that has the quotes, and I'm going to click in it and apply my pull quote. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and I'm looking for my caption. Here it is. Moving multiple pallets of bricks is no problem with this amazing baby. I'm going to click in that and just click on Caption. 
The next paragraph is my headline for the next story. So I'm going to click in that and click on headline. The next paragraph is the first paragraph in my next story. So that must have a drop cap. And I look at my printed out sheet, and sure enough, it does. Let me apply body text drop cap. Let me scroll down a little bit and find the quote a little bit down the page. It reads, they were able to help us with every kind of equipment we needed. I know that that's my pull quote. So I'm just going to click on pull quote. The only thing left is the last caption. Let me find it. It's on the next page. An incredible lineup of construction vehicles. Let me click caption. I have all of my text formatted, and that was really fast. Now I need to open my actual layout. I'm going to go under the file menu to open, scroll down to that folder. 1007, a short review of long documents, and I've already started working on a layout. It's called 1007, a short review of long documents. INDD, the very first file in that folder, and just click open. So now we're ready to paste our text. I'm going to select all of my text except for the caption. The caption happens to be in a separate frame. And I'm going to copy it, Command-C or Control-C on a PC. I'm going to go into my layout, click in my first frame at the top of the page, and just hit Command or Control-V, and it pasted in all of the text. Let me go back to my formatted text and select that caption. I'm going to select everything except for the paragraph return, and copy that, Command-C or Control-C, go back into my document, Click off of everything and then click on my caption frame and just paste Command V or Control V. I'm ready to start my second article. I'm going to go back into my formatted text and select my headline and all of the text all the way down to the paragraph right before my last caption. And I'm going to press Command C or Control C to copy it. Go back into my layout and just paste it in. Now, all I have left is that last caption. Let me go back into my formatted copy and select my last caption and press Command-C or Control-C to copy it. Go back into my layout, click off of everything, and then click on my caption frame and press Command-V, Control-V to paste it in. Let me go into preview, but first I need to click off of everything so I'm not just typing a W. If you press your W key, you'll go into preview. And that looks pretty good. Formatting in this way, where you format your text in a running text document, you can run through the text very quickly doing all of your formatting. You just follow your printed out word processing file. And then you paste it right into your layout. It saves a huge amount of time. In the next lesson, we'll start discussing tables.